House Home Improvement Radio and Television Show, and I'm at one of my favorite places, that's Lowe's. We're here in Jefferson City at store 2709, and they're having a vendor fair today, and Paul, that gave me a chance to meet you for the first time uh, from Delta. You know, one of the things we talk about all the time on the radio show and television show is that just buy a Delta. Now, I, I, you didn't pay me to say that. You didn't pay me to say that, but when I look back, my shower in my house right now, the faucet has been in there 40 and it's a belt, and it's a three, you know, knob one. And it's it's one of those kinds of things that it, it, it is a great product. But I know that I can still get a cartridge for that, so that I can stop it from leaking because it's starting to after 43 years of service, it's starting to leak just a little bit. And you know, how do I go about that? What you know, when I come into the store, how do I find out what I need? It's best if if you open up the and take the handles off and pull the cartridge out ahead of time to bring along with you. And take it with you so you can match it up. If you get the right match up, Lowe's has the genuine Delta parts in the hand lap. Provide that for you. You can also upgrade. Now, now there you go, <laughs> trying to get me to upgrade. I, I can imagine. What's new? I mean, the audience crazy. Big shower head things and all that kind of stuff. What, tell me about what's new with that. One of the biggest moves in the plumbing industry in general was to eliminate lead and reduce the amount of lead in the drinking water that we wanted to uh, As a result of that, we want to cover patch lines in the plumbing and also some innovations with Delta to make it that the water is not touching any metal, that there's less leak points using the new PEX technology and our diamond seal technology that eliminates leaks, eliminates lead. looking at that and so my buddy Richard Edwards from Edwards Plumbing Service came over we pulled it loose and we got in there and somebody somewhere down the line had put a galvanized strap on a copper pipe and obviously it took gosh knows how many years but it did that pinhole leak in there that caused that pipe to start leaking and so you know that reaction between those dissimilar metals it really can cause a problem and so, as you said with the, with the uh, I don't know what the best word is for it, but with the bringing in pets uh, and doing that, and of course we fixed it. I, I must confess, y'all, I can't tell a lie. We fixed it with the shark bite fitting because it was quick. Shark bites are great. It was in the application when we could do that. So, but yeah, so we're, we're just continuing to move toward that technology and that, that kind of stuff. We kind of warrant these the Delta faucets. Well, how do y'all go about that? Well, any of your Delta faucets, showers, uh, are going to come with a lifetime uh, warranty for the original owner uh, in the original residence. So you purchase it, you put it in your home, and 43 years later, that's, it, that comes down to uh, that it's leaking, it can't not be repaired with a good part then. Delta, uh, yeah, place that part for you. Folks, Folks did y'all hear that? Lifetime warranty. Absolutely. Absolutely. A true lifetime warranty that you can stand by. Not a lot of companies do that. Yeah, uh, Lowe's will work with you. Make sure. a purchase of Lowe's. Bringing back a Delta product is, is no questions asked. If you've got an issue with it, they want to help you. Uh, we get it replaced and get, you back. get it back. Get it back. Folks, that's why we tell you go ahead and buy just buy a Delta. Nothing against all the other brands that like them too, but we've had great success just by Delta. Hey, we'll be back with more coming up next. You're watching Rick's House on Saturday morning. Good to see you. When your honey-do list is long, let Busy Bee Plumbing and Home Improvement be there for you. Adding to your home or remodeling your kitchen? Call Busy Bee, call Busy Bee. Call Need plumbing or electrical work? Call Busy Bee, call Busy Bee. Call Busy Bee handles everything with one call. Call today for your free estimate at 591-8500 and ask about our water purification special. You can also find us online at B-I-Z-Z-Y, the letter B, plumbing.com. That's BusyBeePlumbing.com. Busy Bee Plumbing and Home Improvement. Let us be there for you. Call Busy Bee, call Busy Bee. 
Hey, let me be the first to tell you that getting a professional website for your business is easy. I contacted CraigDigitalDesigns.com. Because of Craig Digital Designs, I'm now able to sell products online, which means more customers for me and my business. And the best part, it doesn't have to cost a lot either. For more information and a free quote, head on over to CraigDigitalDesigns.com. But when you're sitting on the beach with a little umbrella drink in your hand, you're sprawled on the sand. Really, do you have a care in the world? Is there anything better than sitting there and just having a drink? Hmm? HIPCBeach.com. Stover's, the South's largest stocking dealer of flooring, is having a huge low lot reduction sale. Save 30% on all lots of flooring that we have. 300 square feet or less of. That means hardwood, laminate, tile will be at their lowest prices ever. Since the average living room is 250 square feet, this sale means you can really rack up savings for almost any room in your house. These low lots have to go, so our loss is your gain. Also at Stover's, take 20% off any in-stock area rugs. That's huge. Looking for cabinets? And you better shop Stover's or you'll pay too much. We save people literally thousands of dollars over what they'll pay at big box stores. And remember, you never know what you'll find at Stover's, but you'll not find it for a lower price anywhere. Like brand new Vectrix VX2 electric scooters, MRSP, $49.95. Stover's, just $29.95. So hurry in now to Stover's on the Asheville Highway in Knoxville or online at Stover'sLiquidation.com. Stover's. Hey y'all, it's Rick Allen, live at Lowe's, 2709 Jefferson City, Tennessee, and we are here talking to our buddy Josh, new friend on the program. We're going to talk about that fine craft made cabinetry. Now let me tell you something. These guys have been doing this thing for a long time, and I get lost right quick, Josh, when we start talking about cabinetry because there are so many options Absolutely. to make that kitchen a home. Tell me a little bit about craft made and what you guys do and what you pride yourself on. I'm going to tell you, Craft Made's been around for a long time, and uh, we've had the longest standing relationship with Lowe's with cabinetry. We've been doing cabinets since the 60s, and uh, have, have got a great name. Craft Made's recognized it in the most home um, improvement industries. Sure. Um, craft Made through and through. We don't, we don't change up our names in different, in different avenues, but yeah. um, what we pride ourselves on is more than anything. It's not only just our name brand and our name recognition, um, but the way we got that is from um, just building a good quality cabinet. Everything from, I mean, you're talking ease face frames, you know? Oh, yeah. Nobody does that anymore. No, 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 nobody does that. Sure. Uh, ease face frames, deepest shelves in the industry. Um, we do, uh, we use uh, a blue runner, which okay. is more expensive, but again, quality. Sure. We're not going to cut corners. Um, and we've got the most finishes, the most door styles available, and uh, pretty much can can put together anything a customer needs what it wants. So. You know, it's, it's every time I walk in here, I just want to just go, oh, yeah, I need that, I want this, and that's got to go over there. But we, as you can tell, we like to stay in the kitchen. And so because we're in the kitchen a lot, it's a space where our family gathers. And I do a lot of cooking. My wife does a lot of cooking. But the conveniences, you know, from the way a drawer slides now as opposed to how it used to be, um, pot holders, pot areas in, in cabinets. And we didn't think about that back in the day. You know, I have to get on my knees, pull the cabinet open, dig around in the back in the corner. Because back then, that's how it was done for years. Right. We don't have to do that. No, I mean, we've got solutions. Uh, like every corner cabinet we have has an option where you can have pull outs. We're not going to crawl in that dark corner anymore. We're the deepest door box in I make my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in the morning. I don't want to have to go to my pantry and get my sandwich back. Right? Right. Who exactly. exactly. wants to do that? So you can put a sandwich box in the room? Oh, man, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. So, oh. Full extension sliders, too. You don't have to, you don't just come out three quarters of the way, it comes out. All the way, all the way, all the way out. So you can see, that's so much better. I mean, the problem we didn't think about that back in the day, I don't know. It's just the evolution of the product, I guess, over a period of time and, and, and how well you know, it's got done. Also, the thing I like about it is I work with Lowe's and I continue to, to do that. I find that the companies, and this is something we can pride ourselves on, the companies that Lowe's does business with and that do business with Lowe's are companies who their name means something to them. 
and they're not just writing their name, they're still putting a good product out there. Absolutely. And that is that is that is the joy and the benefit of, of working with a company like Craft Made or Delta, your sister company we were just right. talking about yeah. there, and as we'll find many of those other folks. Uh, Lowe's everywhere. Uh, they go in, get the kitchen specialist, get their design, the whole thing. Get a detail, uh, go to your local kitchen specialist, uh, get a detail done, and they can show you. They can come to your home, they can uh, set up that appointment with you, and go through all those options. Right. And what about our options for online? No, a lot of folks are online in the house and want to get on there and take a look at the craft made. How do they do that? I'll tell you, one of our exciting things uh, with our company right now is our online um, catalog, as well as there's a cool thing we just added on there. It's um, a, design, uh, a design style quiz. Most people don't know what they're doing. A design design style right. quiz. Did y'all hear that? It's 10 questions you go through and you pick your style. Like, what, what, what type of front door do you like? Oh, wow. What, what, do, you, what do you like on your mail? Really? Like your fireplace. And then uh, what color scheme uh, schemes do you like? Right. It walks you right through gives you your style preferences. It cuts out a lot of the confusion because, again, in this day and age, we have a lot of choices. Like, a lot of choices. A lot. It kind of it kind of uh, narrows that down, uh, as well as just opening up the uh, spectrum of what's available right. uh, in those in that style category. Well, you know what's great about that is, is we, I mean, that's what a fantastic idea. But not only that, is some people can't visualize the finished product, but they know if you ask them in steps what they like or don't like. That's correct. So that just brings them right down the path and puts them right in there with the product to help. That's fantastic. Like if you came in to me today and said, you know what, Josh, I like this knob here. Right. What's that going to look like on a um, on a darker door style? Yeah. Let, let me show you. We go over to our website, we yeah. pull up the door, we go to our hardware visualizer, you can drag your hardware up there, 3D image, it's beautiful. So if I said, Josh, I want some black lacquer cabinets with high polished brass knobs. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Listen, we had a great time. Thank you for spending time with us on Rick's Thanks House. For having me. And we yeah. appreciate you joining us Saturday mornings, Rick's House, 830 to 9 on WKNX and 1063 The Zone ESPN Radio. Listen, we'll be right back with more from the Lowe's Vendor Day. Hang on, y'all. When your honey-do list is long, let Busy Bee Plumbing and Home Improvement be there for you. Adding to your home or remodeling your kitchen? Call Busy Bee, call Busy Bee. Call Need plumbing or electrical work? Call Busy Bee, call Busy Bee. Call Busy Bee handles everything with one call. Call today for your free estimate at 591-8500 and ask about our water purification special. You can also find us online at B-I-Z-Z-Y, the letter B, plumbing.com. That's busybeeplumbing.com. Busy Bee Plumbing and Home Improvement. Let us be there for you. Call Busy Bee, call Busy Bee, call Busy Bee. Hey, let me be the first to tell you that getting a professional website for your business is easy. I contacted CraigDigitalDesigns.com. Because of Craig Digital Designs, I'm now able to sell products online, which means more customers for me and my business. And the best part, it doesn't have to cost a lot either. For more information and a free quote, head on over to CraigDigitalDesigns.com. But when you're sitting on the beach with a little umbrella drink in your hand, you're sprawled on the sand. Really, do you have a care in the world? Is there anything better than sitting there and just having a drink? Hmm? HIPCBeach.com. Stover's, the South's largest stocking dealer of flooring, is having a huge low lot reduction sale. Save 30% on all lots of flooring that we have. 300 square feet or less of. That means hardwood, laminate, tile will be at their lowest prices ever. Since the average living room is 250 square feet, this sale means you can really rack up savings for almost any room in your house. These low lots have to go, so our loss is your gain. Also at Stover's, take 20% off any in-stock area rugs. That's huge. Looking for cabinets? And you better shop Stover's or you'll pay too much. We save people literally thousands of dollars over what they'll pay at big box stores. And remember, you never know what you'll find at Stover's, but you'll not find it for a lower price anywhere. Like brand new Vectrix BX2 electric scooters. MRSP, $49.95. Stover's, just $29.95. So hurry in now to Stover's on the Asheville Highway in Knoxville or online at Stover'sLiquidation.com. Stover's. Hey y'all, Rick Allen here for Tool School Southern Command. And today we're gonna to be looking at the DeWalt 20 Volt Max cordless drill. I'll tell you what I think about it next after we hear from the manufacturer.
The DeWalt 20 V Max is really an interesting drill. I wish I'd have had one like this back when I was building houses on a full-time basis. Let me tell you about some of the things that they're doing with these drills now. First of all, it has a three-speed transmission. You know, you say, well, Rick, do I really need a three-speed transmission? Well, there are those applications when that would be really, really important, especially if you're looking for that low-end torque, that middle range, and then high speed if we're working with metal, for instance. We've got the hammer drill, which we use a lot down here in the Southern Command because of the masonry issues that we have. We're all always mounting something in stucco, we're always mounting something in, in drive it or, or, or any of the other products that you may find here in the Southern Command. We have a regular drilling position for your bits and then we also have a screw position for your bits and drivers. So it, it's, it's, it's when you're working with screws and you want to just tighten it down just right but not too much. The other thing I like about this drill is, is they went from the stem design to a slide-in design. And I like this slide-in design better. It feels better to me. It feels like it clips better. I think it helps with the balance of the drill. And that's just my opinion. But when I'm using it, it feels a lot better to me. Now, you'll notice that we also have a... When we operate the drill, there's a little pin light right there. That's a 20-second delay light that you can use. I found that very, very useful. I was working on a lock set the other day, and it just gave me just the right amount of light that I needed to get the product done. There's a big controversy in the tool world sometimes about whether we want to use a rubber keyless chuck or we're going to go with all metal. In this particular application, I like the metal for our environment down here because the rubber chuck seems to maybe not hold up as well and also gets a little slick to me. So I like the versatility of the steel chuck on this design. I really was impressed with the way the handle is designed. It feels right to me in my hand. There's nothing worse than a tool that's uncomfortable when you're using it. And I also feel like if you had smaller hands, the tool would work well there too. The convenience of the switch for the forward and reverse is very easily accessed in this product and I found it good to use. Now the kit that we got came with two 20 volt batteries and also with the charger. There again, like the way the charger design goes in there and holds the battery in place, it's a one hour charger so it can get you back up to speed and running about the time you use the other battery up depending on what you're doing. So it's a good application, I like it, I like the way the charger fits and like I said, this is a good product for us. I wish I'd have had one when I was building to do the job that this one does. When your honeydew list is long, let Busy Bee Plumbing and Home Improvement be there for you. Adding to your home or remodeling your kitchen? Call Busy Bee, call Busy Bee. Call Need plumbing or electrical work? Call Busy Bee, call Busy Bee. Call Busy Bee handles everything with one call. Call today for your free estimate at 591-8500 and ask about our water purification special. You can also find us online at B-I-Z-Z-Y, -Z the letter B, plumbing.com. That's busybeeplumbing.com. Busy Bee Plumbing and Home Improvement. Let us be there for you. Call Busy Bee, call Busy Bee. Hey, let me be the first to tell you that getting a professional website for your business is easy. I contacted CraigDigitalDesigns.com. Because of Craig Digital Designs, I'm now able to sell products online, which means more customers for me and my business. And the best part, it doesn't have to cost a lot either. For more information and a free quote, head on over to CraigDigitalDesigns.com. But when you're sitting on the beach with a little umbrella drink in your hand, you're sprawled on the sand. Really, do you have a care in the world? Is there anything better than sitting there and just having a drink? HIPHCBeach.com. Hmm? Stover's, the South's largest stocking dealer of flooring, is having a huge low lot reduction sale. Save 30% on all lots of flooring that we have. 300 square feet or less of. That means hardwood, laminate, tile will be at their lowest prices ever. Since the average living room is 250 square feet, this sale means you can really rack up savings for almost any room in your house. These low lots have to go, so our loss is your gain. Also at Stover's, take 20% off any in-stock area rugs. That's huge. Looking for cabinets? And you better shop Stover's or you'll pay too much. We save people literally thousands of dollars over what they'll pay at big box stores. And remember, you never know what you'll find at Stover's, but you'll not find it for a lower price anywhere. Like brand new Vectrix VX2 electric scooters. MRSP, $49.95. Stover's, just $29.95. So hurry in now to Stover's on the Asheville Highway in Knoxville or online at Stover'sLiquidation.com. Stover's.
You know, in the words of a good friend, life is pretty fast these days, which is why it's so important to have a place to sit and just be. Hi, I'm Brad Staggs, and this is a very comfortable and sturdy garden bench. It's sturdy enough even for me. It's made from pressure-treated southern pine, so it'll be able to withstand just about anything Mother Nature can throw at it. It has some pretty cool detail work, too. Dovetail joints and wooden dowel fasteners give it a real handcrafted look. Elegant curves play nicely against the long, straight back and seat. And most important, it's surprisingly comfortable. What do you say we spend a little time in the workshop? I'll show you how to make it. One of the things I really like about this project is the fact that you can do it over a weekend. Uh, with just a couple of tricks, we can make even the curves in this bench simple to do. Take a look. We'll start with the ends. They're each made up of two parts with a cleat fastening them together. Let's start with the larger of the two. To sketch out the longer of our two end boards, we're going to start at the bottom, measure up 10 and a half, 14, and 17 and a half inches. We're going to draw lines across the board at those points. Then measuring back from the front of the board, we're going to make a mark at nine and a half inches and then connect all these lines. Our next step is to set a series of finish nails in the board. These will mark the rough location of the curve along the back. Now this is just a scrap piece of wood about an eighth of an inch thick and about four feet long. It's a nice bender board which will give us just the right curve along the back edge of that end piece. It just feeds right through the nails like this. Now all I have to do is draw a line along that edge and we've got our curve all ready to cut. Here's the other simple trick. An old ruler. Just happened to have this laying around. Had one hole already drilled in it so you could hang it up. What I did was drill two more holes, one at two inches and one at five. What that'll allow us to do is create a nice arc pattern anytime we put a pin here and a marker in here. At the bottom front edge of our piece, we need to draw an arc. For that, we'll use the hole at the five inch mark on the ruler. The last curve we need to draw is along the front edge. To do this, we need one more finish nail on the top line closest to the front of the piece. Place the bender board against the nail and hold it in place at the top, aligning it with the center mark of the circle. Make sure you have a slight bend in the board by applying pressure against the nail, then draw a line along the outside edge. Once the pattern is completely drawn, secure the piece in a vise and use a jigsaw to cut it out. Hang on to this piece because we can use this as a pattern for the rest of our pieces. This is also a good time to sand any rough edges from the piece. To sand along the arc, use a spindle sander or a drum sander in a drill. All right, to make the smaller of our two end pieces, we're going to use that scrap that we cut out of the larger piece to make our curve, just align it against the edges and draw around it. And then for that front edge, what I've done is measure in from the back nine and a half inches and then put a nail five and a half inches down from the top. And what that will allow us to do is put our bender board in here and give us a nice graceful curve up to that five and a half inch mark right there. So all we have to do is cut these pieces out and we've almost got a complete side. As with the long side, once the pattern is drawn, cut and sand the piece. Then we're ready for assembly. All right, to join our two pieces together, we're going to need to use a two by six cleat. Now to get the width of that cleat, we're going to put our two pieces together and then we're going to use that scrap piece of wood again to measure in from each outside edge. You may just make a little mark here and there. And then the distance between those two marks is going to be the length of this cleat, which just happens to be right here. So we're going to put this in place align it against the top of the shorter piece right there and in between those two marks. And next I'll drill some pilot holes, put screws in, and this one side is just about complete. Once the end is complete, use a roundover bit to soften the semicircle formed at the bottom 
This will give the bench a real finished look. Now that our two ends are complete, they're tied together with a front and a rear apron. Now these aprons are just simple uh, two by sixes, they're 60 inches long, and they're tied into the ends with a dovetail joint here and a couple of wooden dowels. Very simple to do. I'm going to show you how to make that, uh, that dovetail joint and also a great tool that's going to make this whole job a whole lot easier. We'll make the dovetail pins on each end of the 2x6 aprons by measuring back from the edge an inch and a half, the width of each side. Next, mark and draw a line one inch long at that point. At the edge of the 2x6, measure up three quarters of an inch and connect that point with the line you just drew. We'll use an oscillating saw to cut the dovetails. The blade basically vibrates back and forth to make the cut and saves a lot of time. Once the pins are cut, trace the outlines on the front and rear edges of each side and make the cuts as deep as the apron is thick. Glue and clamp the aprons in place. Once dry, drill 3 8 inch holes through each joint and into the sides. Then drive wooden dowels to secure the joints. Cut off any excess with a saw. Alright, cut the last of our dowels off here. Your piece should start to look something like this. Now, in addition to cutting off those dowels, I've also installed a center brace here between the two aprons. We've attached both aprons to the ends. Uh, it, it just adds a little more stability. The next step, obviously, is to put the back on. Now, the back is just like the aprons, except it's bigger and heavier. It's a 2 by 12 the same length, and I've cut dovetails in each end. Now, that means the next step is just to put it up here along the back, mark these backs, and then cut those so we can put this into place. We just got a couple of big pieces left to put in the seat. It uh, comes in two parts. This rear is the nine and a half inch length that fits between the ends. And then the front actually sits and overhangs just a little bit, about an inch on each end and about an inch and a half, maybe two inches over the front. But it just gives it a nice finished appearance, gives it a little profile. I think that uh, just a couple more things, uh, maybe a routed edge here and along the edges just to knock off some of that sharpness. Plus, I'm going to fasten these two seats from underneath. That way we don't have any visible screws here on the top. So we'll get that done and uh, kind of wrap the whole project up. To really complete the look and feel of your garden bench, use the roundover bit to soften the leading edges of the seat. Once it's complete, give the entire bench a good sanding to get rid of any rough spots or sharp edges. Then, grab a book and find a few spare minutes in your busy day to relax and enjoy your own personal retreat.